Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on Aris topic is stock buy and sell. The question states that the cost of stock on each day is given in an array A of size n. Find all the days on which you buy and sell the stock so that in between those days your profit is maximum. Let's have a look at the example. The size of the array is 7 and the array elements are 100, 180, 260, 310, 40, 535 and 695. So as we can observe that if we buy the stock on day 0 which is the cost 100 and sell it on day 3 which is 310 then we get the profit as 210. Similarly if we buy again at day 4 which is cost 40 and sell it at day 6 which is 695 we get a profit of 655 which is maximum. So the output here is 0, 3 and 4, 6. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the example of an array of size 8 and the array elements are 11, 40 to 49, 20, 20, 18, 34 and 53. Let's declare few variables namely buy, sell and flag and initialize all of them to 0. Let's also create a vector uh, namely answer which, uh, which is a final answer. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we first traverse the array from i is equal to 1 to n. So initially i points to 1 and we check for the condition whether if a of i is greater than or equal to a of i minus 1 as well as a of i is not equal to a of pi. That is 42 is greater than 11 as well as 42 is not equal to 11. Therefore we increment the value of cell and update the value of flag as 1 and then increment i. Now i points to 49 where we again check whether if 49 is greater than or equal to 42 as well as 49 is not equal to 11 since both these conditions are correct therefore again we increment the value of cell and the value of flag is 1 itself. Now i points to 20 or the memory location 3 where we check whether if 20 is greater than or equal to 49 since 20 is not greater than 49 therefore we check another condition. Uh, that is if buy is equal to sell since buy and sell are both different values therefore we are in a nth part where we create a vector namely uh, VEC and push the values buy and sell into it and then push this vector into the answer vector and update the value of buy and sell as i and then increment i now i again points to the value 20 where we check whether if 20 is greater than or equal to 20 since 20 is equal to 20 therefore we check for the other condition which is 20 is not equal to 20 this condition fails therefore we check other condition where we check whether if buy is equal to sell since buy is equal to sell therefore again we update the value of buy and sell as i and increment i now again we check whether if a of i is greater than or equal to a of i minus 1 since 18 is not greater than 20 therefore again we check whether if buy is equal to sell and this condition is correct therefore again we update the value of buy and sell as i which is 5 and increment i. Now i points to the location 6 or the value 34 where we check whether if 34 is greater than 18 yes it is as well as 34 is not equal to 18 therefore we update or we increment the value of sell as 6 and increment i. Now i points to the last memory location of the array where we check whether if 53 is greater than 34 yes it is as well as 53 is not equal to 18 which is a of buy therefore again we increment the value of cell which is 7 the value of flag is 1 itself and increment i. Now i is out of the bound of the array a therefore we run out of the for loop and check for the condition whether if flag is equal to 0 since flag is 1 therefore we are in the else part where we check whether if buy is not equal to n minus 1 that is phi is not equal to 7 as well as we check other condition where cell is equal to n minus 1 since 7 is equal to 7 therefore again we create a vector namely temp push the values buy and sell to it and then push that vector into the answer vector. So finally we get an answer vector as 0 2 and 5 7 therefore we return the answer which is 0 2 and 5 7 so now let's begin with the actual code the driver code is already given we just need to complete the function stock buy cell whose arguments are the vector a and the size of the vector n and the return type is a two dimensional vector 
Initially, we have declared few variables, namely by cell and flag, and initialize all of them to zero. We have also created a two-dimensional vector, namely answer. Then we run a for loop from i is equal to one to n. And then we check for the condition whether if a of i is greater than or equal to a of i minus 1 as well as a of i is not equal to a of y. And if the condition is true, then we increment the value of cell as well as update the value of flag as 1. Then we add an f else condition where we again check for a condition whether if y is equal to cell. And if so, then we update the value of by and cell as i. And if both the condition fails, then in the else part, we create a vector namely vec and push the values of by and cell into this vector. And then we push the vector VEC into a final answer vector. And update the value of by and cell as i. And finally after the for loop, we insert an if condition where we check whether if flag is equal to 0. And if flag is equal to 0, then we directly return a vector which is answer. Else, we check for the condition whether if by is not equal to n minus 1, whereas cell is equal to n minus 1. That is, by is not at the end position of the array, whereas cell must be at the end. That is, if by is not equal to n minus 1, and cell is equal to n minus 1. Then we again create a vector namely temp and then uh, as we have seen in the else part of the for loop we push the values by and cell into this temp vector. And finally we push the temp vector into our answer vector which is a two dimensional vector. And finally we return a two dimensional answer vector. And that's it we are done with the code we can compile it now. The code is compiled and we can submit it. And it is submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.